Good morning. Last month, we got to celebrate our mothers for Mother's Day. This month, we get to celebrate our fathers for Father's Day. So every Wednesday this week, we'll read a story about, you guessed it, dads. I mean, who doesn't love a dad? <laughs> so I hope that you and your family would join me this month as we read a little bit more about dads and how important they are and can be to our lives. Whether it be small things or big things, dads play a big role in our lives and in the development of our children. So join me this month for stories about dad and read alouds with Mr. Jason. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Today's story is going to keep with our theme of it being Father's Month. Now, Father's Day is in a few days, but I decided to take this month and make it strictly for the fathers out there. So every week this month, we'll be reading a book that talks about dads in some capacity. Fathers don't get as many pats on the backs as mothers would, so I decided to dedicate this month to them. Like I said a bit earlier, Father's Day is just a few days away. So. If you don't have enough money in your piggy bank, you can always give words of affirmation. Words of affirmation like, I love you and you've done so much for me and I, I'm so happy that you're here. Words like that can go a long way with dads, really any parent to be honest. Parents love those types of things. They love them more than monetary things, things that you can buy or things that you make. Those words mean more to them than anything else because hopefully they come from the heart. So with that being said, Let's get into our story. Today's story is Chicken Soup for the Little Soul, The Best Night Out with Dad, written by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, and illustrated by Bert Dobson. Have you ever been to the circus? Well, Danny has been several times, and each and every time gets better than the last. Not only that, but he's with his father. And on top of that, He's even met a friend by the name of Vincent and his father. Vincent has never been to the circus before, but leave it up to Danny, he'll know all about it even before it starts. Unfortunately, Vincent and his father have a little bit of trouble at the ticket booth, but if you leave it up to Danny and his father, I think they'll find a solution for both parties. So, join me on another reading adventure as we read the Best Night Out with Dad, written by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen and illustrated by Bert Dotson in Read Alouds with Mr. Jason. Chicken Soup for Little Souls, The Best Night Out with Dad, written by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, illustrated by Bert Dotson. You mean to tell me you've never been to the circus before? Danny asked the big-eyed little kid. The boy reached for his dad's hand, looked down, and shook his head no. Danny was so sorry he acted like that. The boy's clothes were mended and his sneakers were almost worn through. Maybe his family could never afford the circus before, Danny thought. Danny was wearing the sweatshirt his dad bought him the last time they'd went to the circus. It was his favorite shirt with a big picture of Thor the famous circus tiger on it. That's what the little kid had noticed. That's why he asked Danny what the circus was like. What's your name? Danny asked him. Vincent, said the boy smiling again. Well, Vincent, get ready for the night of your life. The circus has every cool thing you can think of. First, you'll smell the popcorn and hear the big band playing. The ringmaster will come out in a shiny red coat and top hat. In his boomy voice, he'll say stuff like, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. 
acrobats come tumbling out. They jump and leapfrog and turn somersaults and cartwheels. They spin hoops on their arms and legs. The jugglers toss rings and balls and all kinds of stuff in the air, and everyone parades around in their sparkly costumes. Then the music gets all mysterious. The lights lower almost to darkness. A blue mist creeps in and fills the ring. All of a sudden, Two white horses charge out of the darkness, their flowing manes shimmering in the misty fog. They rear up on their hind legs and dance around their trainers. The lights go up and the music gets faster. The horses break into a speedy gallop around the ring, jumping through hoops that get higher and higher. More horses come out with riders on them. The riders do flips off the horses, each one landing on the horse behind her. The lights grew low again. The music changes. The spotlight moves up, up, up to the high wire. A woman tiptoes across. She stands on one leg. She does a split on the wire. The man walks out onto the wire too. He does jumps and scissor kicks. He does backward summer. Do they ever fall off? Vincent urgently whispered. Oh, sure. That's what makes the circus so dangerous and exciting. Vincent nervously bit his lip. Danny said, I'm just kidding you, buddy. They almost never fall off. They're real pros. Vincent let out a big breath. What else? What else? He begged. Let's see. There's the dogs. Yeah, the dogs do some really cool tricks. And the clowns are awesome. Some walk on stilts so they look about as tall as a house. Others ride super high unicycles or drive these wacky little cars or throw pies at each other. The acrobats are really cool too. They hang from rings and twist their bodies up like pretzels. Then on the ground, two of them clasp their arms together and toss their brother up into the air. He does somersaults in the air and comes down and lands on their arms. They throw him up again and he lands on his brother's shoulders. Then they each flip themselves up on top of the guy's shoulders into their big human totem pole and wait till you see the bears in the tutus. The dancing bears will crack you up. Some of them ride motorcycles and do willies. What about the elephants, asked Vincent. He was so wound up, he could barely spit the words out. What do the elephants do? Danny's father brought their tickets and said, ready sport? Wait, dad, said Danny. Then to Vincent, he said, That's not even the best. The best, the very coolest act in the circus is Thor. Wait till you see this giant cat in action. Vincent's eyes were as big and round as saucers. This is going to be the best birthday present I ever got, he yelled. Vincent hopped up and down in excitement as his dad stepped up to the window. The ticket agent shook her head and said, Sorry, sir, the manager doesn't accept this coupon anymore. You'll have to pay full price. Vincent's father stood still. In a small voice, Vincent said, What's the matter, Dad? Buy the tickets. He doesn't have the money, Danny thought. His heart sank as Vincent's father closed his wallet and gently pulled Vincent out of the line. Vincent wouldn't see the circus. All of Danny's excitement melted away until he felt like crying. He looked up at his dad and whispered, What can we do? Danny's father thought for a moment, then said, You know, the courts are open late tonight, son. Would you rather see the same old circus again or shoot some hoops instead? He handed Danny the two tickets he had just bought, saying, It's up to you. Danny understood right away. He thought about the decision his father was letting him make. A warm, good feeling filled Danny up inside, and a smile crept across his face. I guess I could use some practice for Saturday's game, he said. Vincent and his father were already walking away. Hey, Vincent, Danny called, running to them. Vincent turned around, wiped his nose on his sleeve. What, he mumbled. Danny saw the tear streaks on Vincent's face, and for a moment, he didn't know what to say. I really like telling you about the circus, buddy, and I guess I want you to see it more than I want to see it myself. I've got this basketball game. Anyway, 
My dad and I are going to go practice, so it turns out we don't need these tickets after all. Really. Danny held the tickets out to Vincent. Vincent's face lit up like Christmas. Can we, Dad? Vincent's father looked at Danny with eyes full of thanks. Before the man could say anything, Danny pressed the tickets into Vincent's hands and ran back to his own dad. Danny's father knelt down and hugged Danny hard. He said, you did a very kind and special thing tonight, son. I'm so proud of you. They didn't see the circus, but to Danny, it was the best night out with dad ever. So, how did you like that story? It was a great story, wasn't it? A story of friendship, a, a story of companionship. It was probably a good thing that Danny decided to go do a little practicing, seeing as he had that game on Saturday. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me for another Read Aloud. I had a blast, as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, 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 and also, Comment on any of our social media platforms. We're always willing and wanting to hear from you. Thank you again for reading with me. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.